Okay, and this would be part about electronic adjustments. So I'm just trying to set up levels, as you see. So this guy has just stepped two decibel up and down, you see. So it shows zero. Like that. And it shows a little bit more here. Let's do like minus five precisely. I just didn't get it. Okay, and right channel can we adjust? Oop. I don't see how it affects. Or it's for peaks only. Okay, and let's adjust uh, sensitivity. It's plus two. Okay, we need plus seven, I believe, or six, or seven. Seven decibel to get to zero. Okay, we currently on zeros here. So zero here, zero here, adjusted. Next, let's try wow and flutter test. So you want 50, weighted. Let's take the tape. Let's see what this guy, guy is capable of. Two, zero point one. Okay, a little bit too much with new belts and new pinch rollers, but this on the H4, zero point twelve. Let's try to just speed a little bit. I like to get it a couple gears more. Oh, 46, 47. It's in range. We may try to touch it or we may leave it as this. Let me see the motor. Oh, it's, it's, it's not possible to adjust while it's installed, really. So I was like, smallest, tiny screwdriver would not fit into the hole. Uh, I'm already disassembled it six times to make everything perfect, <laughs> to get it working. So probably I will leave with 3, 1, 47, 46, 41. It's still in range. Wow and flutter, a little bit too high. Maybe listen, 0 0.1 is not what I would expect from the deck. Is everything new, oiled, new belts, Belts are nice and go in the middle. Remember, I told you that white belt will go in the middle, and you see both belts are in the middle. Don't scratch anything. See, really nice. At this point, I believe it's it's H. Okay. We will listen to it. Let's check Azimut one more time to make sure that we are fine. Okay. Well, let's check level. It should be, I believe, minus one. It's a Dolby level tape. And it shows plus one. Really? Switching to level. Yeah, it shows plus one. And it show, should be minus one. And I was looking into schematic and really didn't find like any instruction how to adjust this guy. Uh, that's calibration ports. So 
recording. I've been looking at schematics. There are not not many adjustments really. No playback levels. No record levels. Nothing. I will take another look to see what else we can adjust, but at this point let's measure and let's see. Okay, level is plus one. Let's take Antalisa juice. So no 300 gears. I mean, if it should be better, it should be flat. Let's reverse. Tape. And get to 10 kilogears first and try to adjust it. Okay. Let me adjust this guy a little bit. I will use tripod so you will be able to see. And I need my, my hand. Really. Okay, this is the best we can do, I believe. Let me see. Okay, and the frequency is uh, six kilogears. Okay, let's do oscilloscope. Okay, let me see the levels goes down. Maximum goes down. Okay, it's a maximum point. Nice and visual. Let's scroll to 10 for the cares. Okay, it's 15 kilogears already. Let's do a little bit more precise. Okay, not very bad for 15 kilogears, but one channel for some reason is smaller than other. Let me see. This goes down, this goes down. So this is the maximum level. That's where like it should be, like that. See, it's precise, 15 kilogears. Okay, this hat is not new. It has a quite a good wear. So now, at least it's placed now, 15 kilogears from the other deck and that's to sell the levels. Let's see levels. It's 
minus 7 and minus 9 is just this balance it should be minus 11 here so one channel is just place a little bit more than limit because it's uh, um, Nakamichi, so it's Dolby is minus one decibel and from Dolby minus 10 it should be here so right channel is fine and left channel like three decibel higher okay and let's scroll to the oh, we just can reverse tape and see on the lower frequencies and lower frequencies we should have minus one and we have plus one Okay, it's not very well balanced, but it's close. I will take another look into board and try to understand if we can adjust those spots. Service manual doesn't contain any instruction, fortunately. Okay, now let's try to record. Type one tape. First, I will be recording without doing any calibration. So let's scroll a little bit. Okay. How we reset counter? Here. Reset done. Memory. Got memory. Okay, recording. Zero level plane. level so this is source source automatically set key to zero good and recording recording is higher like one and a half decibel on each channel Okay, but we didn't use automatic calibration, so we can just go down. I just didn't get it. It's uh, input level and it's recorded. It's, I believe it doesn't record it. It's just plain. Okay, let me see. Oh, let's rewind. Okay. No, it doesn't record in this plane. I believe it's music coming from the tape. Okay, let me see what was going on here. If data system works. Just running data system. See, it's trying to calibrate bias. And I don't see it ready. Okay, I believe something weird with recording now. I have to check why and what is going on. I will get back to you soon. Hello again. I'm continuing my research, so this deck did play nice, but did not record, as you remember. So I just did run a bias generator, now it works, and one channel 
records well the left channel but right channel doesn't record so I was looking into schematic diagram here R it appears that uh, we have a bias so bias comes from the bias generator here on this part uh, but there is no signal to sum on the head and I went back to this IC401 and it looks like one channel has input here and other doesn't have input here so what I will do I will go next to the search guide to see so there here is a rec mute transistor and here is the output from Dolby it should be 5 and 12 pins from Dolby board the capacitors then it goes R401 and gets here okay somewhere probably with this transistor so we need to go and see if it's come from Dolby or is another micro crack on the board under the Dolby circuit so I will continue my investigation so right now let me show you on the one channel record so if I will switch tape source or is the button TS So you not enough light. Here, monitor. So is the source, is the tape. One channel records. The level almost there. So I found adjustments. Uh, I was looking into schematic for quite a few time now. And I found that this deck has a playback equalization adjustment and playback and record levels adjustments. There is no adjustment for bias because this deck can adjust bias using uh, its, its uh, automatic parameters adjustment program. So I will leave you here for now. Let me continue research with this board and i hope you would be able to fix everything thank you okay guys let me show what i stuck with so we have this nice bias trap here and we have a equal signal coming from the record amplifier and at this point on top of this bias trap before resistor we have similar signals between two channels and then here after resistor we already have one channel fine it still shows signal here and then it shows some between bias and uh, our signal we recording here which goes to the head and other channel shows bias here but doesn't show signal after this resistor. I saw this capacitor faulty, so I swapped capacitors between two channels and it didn't change the picture. So uh, I replaced this resistor, it didn't change the picture. So the only thing left here is the coil. I'm just struggling to understand why. We have a normal bias, but we don't have a sum of signals on the other end. So we are recording. You see left channel still recording uh, and if we see all the signal here on the oscilloscope here is signals on both channels before resistors let me increase the level okay one volts and it's 1.2 volts i believe faulty channel come on working channel you see bias a little bit gets over resistor back here so here on the other side come on so it's on the coil and capacitor right and let me show and this is a working channel so it's on the coil 
and here other side of the coil I have to reduce to 10 volts sensitivity and here is the output you see it's the sum between bias and the signal and on the other guy we have bias and no sum and on the other side of the coil you see we don't have signal and I just didn't get it so it's capacitor here it's capacitor on the side you see it's bias so this filter just doesn't work somehow it kills signal completely one side of resistor we have it you see it's just small one it's faulty channel it's come on it's okay channel have it and this is okay channel on the other side come on here and other side of resistor faulty channel we don't have anything it just don't come through my head i still have to spend more time thinking about how to fix this guy uh, but this is time consuming work thank you see you soon oh, okay finally we go it's recording see source it's record the signal so we just balance a little bit as you see at level and it works right woohoo so the root cause was another issue it was broken wire which come to the record head these wires and this deck this is a something so they just don't hold a little bit bend bam no wire great now we have it working we can set up a tune it right so source here recording one channel records not so good, other a little bit less. And observing it's here. So source and it's tape. That's what we need to adjust a little bit to make sure it will be recording evenly. And let's try frequency just for the case. How it will also it's it's source it's no it's it's taped now so let's see two kilogers three four five six seven eight ten twelve oh fifteen yeah here is the issue with bias and issue with recording levels so i just uh, was looking at schematic so to give you some idea how to adjust this guy those potential potentiometers so here the one which is 5 for 1 and 5 for 2 and you need you see those are for the playback amplifier uh, playback equalization and 5 for 2 well, 503 and 504 those are for the levels and here we have a bias trap and here we should have in these holes uh, recording levels a little bit not convenient but we will try to do our best so that's everything uh, those are like adjustments i didn't read yet what those are and i would not touch them probably because this board is detector for the automatic dolby 
Uh, here is a Dolby board, Dolby, Dolby detector, and the other one, like, those are automatic adjustments, whatever. We'll see, we'll learn more about this deck, but we have progress. Congratulations are welcome.